It's the moment that people are, are raving about of Harris calling Biden a racist, but not calling him a racist. Growing up, my sister and I had to deal with the neighbor who told us her parents couldn't play with us because, she, because we were black. And I will say also that, that in this campaign, we have also heard, and I'm going to now direct this at Vice President Biden, um, I do not believe you are a racist. And I agree with you when you commit yourself to the importance of finding common ground. But I also believe, and it's personal, and I was actually very, it was hurtful to hear you talk about the reputations of two United States senators who built their reputations and career on the segregation of race in this country. And it was not only that, but you also worked with them to oppose busing. And, you know, there was a little girl in California who was part of the second class to integrate her public schools. And she was bused to school every day. And that little girl was me. So I will tell you that on this subject, it cannot be an intellectual debate among Democrats. That's really, and I'm not a Joe Biden fan, but I, I, that's one of the dirtiest things I've ever seen, or at least that I've seen in a while at a debate. Um, it's certainly in the top 10. And you knew it was going to be bad as soon as she said, Vice President Biden, I don't think you're a racist. But, see, the, the but, when you attach a but, it's a very magical but that you're attaching. When you attach a but to a statement like, I don't think you're a racist or I'm not a racist, it's just anytime there's a but after the word racist, then you, what happened is, what, what's going on is that everything before that but has been erased. So it's forget about what was said before the but. Now it's just let's move on to the statement. And she she moves on to accusing Biden of, of racism, basically. Even though she knows that Biden is not a racist, she knows it. I mean, it's there are a lot of things you could say about Biden, many of them not good, but one but one thing you cannot honestly say about him is that he's a racist. Um, and they all know that. And at any rate, if they really do think the guy is a segregationist bigot Klansman, basically then they're to blame for saying nothing about it for 40 years. Harris never, Harris has been in the game for a while. Now, she never said anything about it. During the Obama administration, she never, she never said, hey, by the way, uh, Barack Obama, you chose a racist segregationist who opposed busing and, uh, you know, who, who caused me all this pain as a young girl. Uh, that's a, a, an emotional story, an emotional moment that uh, I'm sure she rehearsed plenty of times beforehand. But it's an emotional moment where we're told, yeah, where was that emotional moment for the eight years that, that, that he was vice president. If you really think that he's got some, that he's either a segregationist himself or he's got some warm feelings about segregation or whatever, then why didn't you say anything? So I, we have two options here now for Harris. Either she's just a lying fraud or she's a coward who allowed a segregationist racist bigot uh, to be in the White House all those years and said no in her own party and said nothing. So those are the options.